Hello, I am going to show you today, guys, how to use derma roller at home properly, step by step. I will show you what is actually and explain you what is derma roller, what it does, how to use it, how often to use it, what size to choose for what kind of concerns, the aftercare, how to disinfecting, what to use after, what to avoid after, like basically everything, all derma roller 101, what you need to know. Everybody know that derma roller, it is a very, very safe and very affordable tool um, actually to lift your face, to uh, diminish fine lines, get rid of acne scars, improve uh, circulation in your skin, um, improve uh, to make better skin texture and uh, even tone. And it is um, very, very, very important to know actually how to use it. This is very serious. Um, I've seen on YouTube and on social media, Hi, Tina. I've seen on YouTube and on internet, and you guys seen also horror stories, terrible stories, how people can destroy their skin if they don't know actually how to use microneedle tool. We have a bunch of microneedle tools. Today, for example, I have a derma roller with me. Um, I have an aqua stump with me. I also had somewhere over here, aqua pen. Um, this is like vibrating tool for the skin. It's kind of pricey. I want to focus today on a little bit more affordable aqua pen. You can actually put the serum inside and stamp it. And then Dermarola, which is my favorite and everyone's favorite. Um, so basically, what is Dermarola? Dermarola has a bunch of individual uh, needles inside. I don't know if you're going to see, but it has a bunch of tiny needles. Here I have real needle Dermarola. And basically what a Dermarola does when you roll on the skin, it creates punctures in the skin. And basically your your skin heals faster than usually without doing anything. It absorbs better the skincare products. On average, skincare product only is being absorbed, I believe, like 20, 30, maybe 40%. With microneedle tool, the product can topically be absorbed 100% into your skin. So you're not wasting product. So this is how it happens when you roll on the skin. It basically, you kind of creating the tiny, tiny wounds, tiny holes, and your skin naturally heals that spot. So wherever you're going to derma roll, you can derma roll on the face, you can derma roll on the scalp. Uh, in studies been done, and I actually have a clients that they use derma roll on the hair and it improves hair growth. Derma roll does not improve hair growth on the face. I I have um people asking me this very very often. Derma roll does not improve hair growth on the face unless you already have hair over there. So for example, for men, if they have a beard and they want to kind of, you know, have more beard, uh, they derma roll on the spot, they have more. But women, if they derma roll on the cheeks, the hair does not grow. Otherwise, I will have a big, gigantic beard because I've been derma rolling for a really long time. Oh, Sarah, hi, huh? I just used your roller today. Thank you so much. It means so much happy sunday happy father's day shannon i love you um i want the aqua pen for my christmas oh every day and your the roller serums for christmas oh my god this is so amazing shannon uh what about eyebrows so yes trini i'm going to show you and i'm going to demonstrate you in a second how to use so basically what it does dermarola dermarola can help with a lot of a lot of things so first what is popular right now, Dermarole is great for stretch marks. I'm going to make another video. I don't know if I'm going to do live video because I have to be like in the bikini to show you how to use, um, you know, Dermarole correctly. And kind of in the case, if something going to slip out, you know, or something I don't want to do live. So I think I'm going to just film separately. It's great with this, for the stretch marks. If you have stretch marks, it's great, really, really great for the stretch marks. Then it's great for the cellulite. Then it's great for the hair growth, improve the hair growth. If you have, you know, alopecia or something is going on, losing hair due to uh, some autoimmune disorder or something like this, it's great, great for wrinkles, fine lines. It's amazing for acne scars. So if you have any kind of scars, not only acne scars, including box and blah, 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 bunch of scars, it's great. So then with the skin texture, uh, your skin texture becomes smoother, nicer, more glowy uh, skin color. If you have a discoloration, sun damage, aging spots, that is kind of brightening your skin. And the lastly, it is um, exfoliating. 
It's great, great, great exfoliating. If you're going to be using one millimeter dermal roller, for example, you might notice next day your skin kind of a little bit going to peel off because your skin is rejuvenating. So it kind of works like a retin-A, retinol, it re rejuvenates. So what I do, I already have disinfected this. How to actually prepare that? I have a washcloth because as you see, guys, I'm in my room. I'm not in the shower or bathtub. I have a washcloth it's not like a towel but a washcloth that i'm going to be removing i don't have makeup this is totally free of makeup i'm going to be using a cleanser this is my favorite sensitive skin cleansers from from avian ceracom so i'm gonna take one pop it's kind of oil oily and you can take your derma roller, derma roller right now with you. Go around to the bathroom, grab your derma roller, and start doing with me live. And you can actually ask me questions, and I'm ready to answer you over here. If you're on repeat watching, you still can ask me questions in the description box. I always, always answer every single question, no matter what. Let me know if you're with me right now doing even if you're in on rewatch if you're doing actually this microneedling facial with me it's so fun i have never done this it's so fun so and then i'm gently really gently removing i always recommend you to guys for you um exfoliate scrub or whatever do on your skin to remove that um skin layer because that's gonna be better why because your dermal roller gonna have better results and also when you don't exfoliate your skin next day you might gonna have some skin tissue build up over here and then it's hard to clean some people have that and i always say please 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 clean your skin really well so double cleansing exfoliating or a night before that do something with the acids i don't know what kind of acids you're using salicylic glycolic acids exfoliate your skin before using dermarole all the time i'm gonna show you how i'm going to exfoliate in a second so i'm i'm wiping with um special cleansing cloth this is a face cloth i don't use a, like a regular regular towel it's too harsh for the skin so what i'm gonna do right now let me see i'm grateful i found Jinamra's channel right when i started derma rolling and immediately learned that i was doing wrong and what not to do i could have seriously damaged my skin with fake one Lindsay, you're amazing i love you what about micro needling breasts Yes, Moldy, you can actually uh, microneedle breast. I do have tutorial, not how I do my breast, but how I do body stretch marks. I believe if you enter in YouTube, Jean Amber, Dermarolling stretch marks or something like that, I show how I actually, I believe, Dermarol um, my chest, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. I did this a long time ago, but I can actually do it. Of course, I can't show my boobs, <laughs> but am I going to be able to kind of explain, you know, being like in a sports bra? I don't know if YouTube going to blog the video, but I can try actually to do that tutorial. Is there a point of five for absorption? Yes, any kind of size is okay for absorption, but deeper the size also adds another um, benefits like 0 0.5 is the best size for uh, anti-aging okay so let's jump into the exfoliating and i'm exfoliating with a gentle this is from suzanne organics totally organic skincare line which i really really like it foaming exfoliating cleanser doesn't have any crappy ingredients so i am putting that much i am going to exfoliate by the way for those who don't know my skin is dry i do have rosacea and um i need a lot of a lot of moisture for my skin same here shannon i love you hi rose hygiene can we use it on botox injected skin yes i had last time oh, a while ago i haven't had in a while so probably i don't have anything i do sometimes i do get um actually um fillers once in a while to be honest i'm open i am not fake i'm not lying you know I'm not this kind of person that like um, many of YouTube gurus, they look like, and they say, I'm only using skincare, that's it. And it looks like this, 
I don't have anything against that. Do what the heck you want to do. I don't give a shit really what are you doing, but why are you lying? Like, come on, seriously. It's 21st century. We do whatever we want to do, right? So I'm exfoliating really, really gentle to answer your question, Rose. Yes, you can do it, but I will recommend to wait at least 10 days after injections or before injections, any kind of injections, Botox, Dyspore, uh, Hyaluronic. So... I wanted to get actually dye sport. Um, I'm going this weekend uh, to my friend's wedding. So I kind of do for the birthdays or friend's wedding or something like this. This is when I actually get something. I don't have anything right now. I did like three months ago lips. But as you see, it's gone. Any kind of filler I get, it disappears from my face like clearly in a month. My metabolism is so fast. I'm skinny without really like um, a lot of effort. Okay. Whew. Um, can I use 5% glycolic as exfoliation before and then dermarol? Um, thank you for all your expertise, by the way. Yes, you can totally use 5%. If you're not sensitive, this is the difference. If you're not sensitive and depends what brand are you using. Ordinary they are not strong. Yes, if something is like medical grade, I will say maybe a night before that. So I am wiping that away. As you see, it's super gentle. My skin is slightly red. And I'm sorry for the bad quality, but this is live. It's always a little bit worse than regular quality. Okay. Okay, then after dermal rolling, can I use the hyaluronic acid and the peptide serum together? Yes, this is what I'm going to do today, guys. I do have, check this out. I do have a hyaluronic acid serum with me and peptide. You can use it, but I will show you difference today. I'm going to be using actually this before because I read this amazing book. Did they finish? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys, to show you. I have never freaking done, I have never done live, actually, microneedling live. And now I'm doing this and I'm so excited. Uh, so I just don't want to skip. I don't want to miss any kind of, you know, steps. Let me cleanse my face because I do have ADHD and I can't focus on 100 million steps like at the same time. So, okay, I think I'm good. I read this book. I read this book, Microneedling, uh, Holistic Microneedling. And actually this guy, he says that you can use serums before microneedling. I never did this. It's kind of not a big difference before or after, but uh, just to be safe, I was always saying that um, you should use after, but I live and learn. I try to improve things all the time. By the way, if you're really into microneedling, I recommend to read this book. This book is like 20, maybe 25 bucks on Amazon. If you're really, 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 really into microneedling and you are like really passionate, I will recommend you to get this book. This book is expensive. It's like 80 bucks, I believe. But this doctor basically uh, talks about like microneedling in general for everything, for the scars, for like how he discovered. He's the one that he actually uh, kind of found out like in 1990s, I believe, when he was using empty tattoo um, gun without ink. And he realized when he was treating that spot, I don't remember the story exactly, but something like that. And he realized the spot where he was needling with the empty tattoo gun that it became really nicer. And he's like, wait a minute. And then he did a lot of, a lot of like experiment and everything. And um, yeah, ar around the eyes, as you see, you can actually use Dermarole around the eyes. I'm going to show you how to do this. And he has like a lot of before and after. This is, for example, before and after. He's been studying like for months microneedle people faces and six months apart he was using 0 0.3 55 years old woman look at this before and after it's amazing this is this is really great way to slow down aging all right so what we gonna do um love you number dermarola guys so much thank you oh my god thank you so 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 much from the bottom of my heart i'm so excited Lindsay, uh, yes, I'm trying to get a good routine with my amino cell D and dermarolis too. Okay. I love that video. I always use serums before and after. 
Okay, so let's get started. Do I have to tell you anything else? Um, okay, how to prepare. So I prepare already, I told you how to prepare, how to use it. So what I'm gonna be different doing differently right now, actually that I never did, and I, I am gonna be using, um, I have three serums. I have vitamin C booster, I have peptide, and I also have hyaluronic. I already run out of, so I have a new one over here. So basically what these serums do, hyaluronic is hydrating. It's the best hydration uh, serum in the entire world. And uh, why this is different than other hyaluronic, I don't use any fragrance, zero fragrance. Maybe some of my products does not smell like they don't smell really fancy, nice, or, you know, because we don't use perfume fragrance, not only because of sensitizing skin, which is, we all know that perfume sensitizes the skin, but also because what perfume can hide up to 2000 hidden ingredients, including heavy metals. And I'm like health freak and I'm into holistic lifestyle, a holistic micro needing, holistic uh, care, you know, of my face and everything. So I'm against anything that heavy metals because that can affect your, you know, brain, um, everything is just, and this is vitamin C, which is actually brightening and is anti-aging. Great antioxidant helps to get rid of free radicals. Free radicals are, are the monster damaged cells that they come to damage a good cells and they damage good cell DNA. And a peptide is amino acid that actually strengthens and firms your skin. So using those three actually is like a, the best vitamin cocktail for the skin. And I have never used this before, and it's kind of weird to do that live, but let's try to use this before. And I'm taking uh, hyaluronic. I'm probably doing like two pumps. And also this gentleman in that book tells that we should start on the right side. So I'm going to be applying on the right side. By the way, another thing to notice, before microneedle, this before this session, I actually disinfected this with alcohol. If you don't have any kind of alcohol, I have here prep pads, alcohol prep pads. I don't know where you live. In some countries, they're not available. So you can use also witch, witch hazel. You can use um, a colloidal silver. There are other options. Don't use nail polish, please. Please don't use nail polish because that's not okay. And then I'm taking peptide. <laughs> It does have to happen live, okay? So I'm gonna be using right side. I don't know, maybe for you it looks left side, but I'm using on the right side first. And I'm gonna be actually starting with uh, under eyes. I want to get your retinol serum. Yes, I do have retinol serum, but with retinol serum is better to get um, after microneedling, better to use after microneedling, like an hour or two after microneedling is the best actually next day. Manfred, thank you for your question. I use a sharp tooth at the Marola, uh, but through your channel, I knew that one original had needles. Yeah, yeah, of course, you already, guys, if you follow me. By the way, if you're not follow, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Um, this is fake needle, the Marola. Probably I don't have to explain, right? Do I? Do I have to explain this? I don't think so. Anyway, so let's start for the eyes. So how I do, I always lift. It's kind of weird, but I'm lifting. I don't know the light so it will be better. So I'm doing like five times. Let me know over here if you're actually doing with me. Let me know in the comments if you're actually derma rolling with me. And for the eye area, it's very good because it's helping with the cross feet and also brightening your dark circles and plumping just that skin. And if you have a hollowness, you know, uh, it's actually plumps and fills the spot. Of course, maybe one time is not gonna be enough. I don't know how many times I did to be honest now. <laughs> EGF serum. Uh, Shannon, it all depends on the ingredient. What exactly are ingredients? Can you read me? Tell me what exactly uh, ingredients. 
uh, it all depends on the ingredients. So I am always, guys, lifting is very, very important. And the funny thing that he also mentions in that book that you always should lift. Because imagine when you roll like this. I mean, it's nothing going to happen, like, tragically, you know. But you always roll in the same spot when you do roll and back. And when you roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift. You always puncturing the skin in the different kind of spot. So it's more like beneficial, I believe. So and I will do I wouldn't do like really a lot for the first time if you're a beginner, if you never did. <laughs> Signing on the right side was a new info to me. Also definitely want to read his book. Okay. Uh did you see her video? So interesting. <laughs> you girls are so funny. You saying under eyes, do we need to put some pressure? Thanks. Rose, yes, I will put, you know, guys, the pressure when you, for example, do um, what to do when you shave your legs, right, girls, you you all shave legs. If you don't shave legs, I'm jealous. <laughs> Maybe you did laser, laser arm. So when you shave your legs, you don't want to like slide it just a little, a little bit because, you know, it's not going to shave your hair and you don't want to kind of push too much because you're going to peel your skin. So it's like, you know, like a little bit but not like, eh, you know, <laughs> it's just like very little, like gentle. I would rather do it gentlier, but more times it's better. And like this, and don't go like this. Don't drag the marola all the way like this. It's not good. Always like a one spot, one spot, especially if you have to turn another spot. If you have to turn, don't go to really too close to the eye. Be careful if you really wanna. If you really wanna do for eyes, aqua stump is actually better. It goes deeper, and you are in control of everything. This is zero point six, so you kind of can go really closer because with dermarole, if a little bit slips, you know we don't wanna have any injury. So like this, with aqua stump, it's actually better for the eyes. Aqua stump is great for like really targeted areas like eyes. Or I have a scar over here. Sometimes I do on the scar. This scar is like 20 years old. Doesn't doesn't help my knee. But let's see if you have a fresh scar. I think I did too much now on the skin. Okay, so let's do like this. Two, three, four, five for the rest of the cheek. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five two, three, four, five. If you're a first time user, I will never, ever, ever, ever recommend to use a lot of pressure, many rolls, just do like three time rolls. I have like, so I have a customer service team, right? And their girls, when they have an issue, when somebody says, for example, it happens once in a while, they say, for example, Jen, I've been using your Dermarola, but I have like redness, inflammation, my skin is dry, you know, I have uh, something's going on, peeling, I, I thought this is not going to happen. And my first question I always ask, what size did you use? And they say, well, my first time I thought, you know, one millimeter is, is the best, that's why I bought one millimeter. One millimeter is basically for the wrinkles. It's not going to help. Again, come back to this book. He talks about and he actually explains that uh, collagen production happens only in the depth of your skin of 0 0.5. Deeper? No. Because uh, basically deeper is epi um, epidermis, dermis already. It's popular layer, which is has nerves and everything. If the needle goes deep down there, it's nothing happens. It's just your collagen production happens only at the level of 0 0.5 millimeter. So if you're using for the, you know, for collagen production and using one millimeter, you just, you're just wasting time. You know, you, you better use uh, 0 0.5 millimeter dermarola. So that is very, very important. And then I also asked like, how long was your session? Was your session like two minutes or they're like, no, I was doing, you know, half an hour. I thought I need to do half an hour. No, no, I don't even do half an hour. I never do half an hour. Nobody should be doing half an hour unless you're insane. We don't need bigger size, longer session. Doesn't mean better results, guys. This is so crazy. No, it's like you go to the gym. If you're going to stay in the gym and lifting nonstop all the weights 
for uh, five hours, you think you're going to have bigger muscle tomorrow? No, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, it doesn't work this way. So I did horizontal. I'm going to do vertical right now. What I recommend with Dermarola, actually, you can use um, for five minutes every three days instead of half an hour once every two weeks. That's what I think. And then I'm going... And then, for example, I, Ari, I didn't apply pressure at all. And right now for the cheeks, I don't know if you see, I apply a little bit more pressure. Another thing, I'm using 0 0.25 millimeter dermal roller. This you can use every other day or if you want every day. 0 0.5 millimeter dermal roller, you don't use more often than once a week. Then 0 0.75 start once every three weeks if you already advance you can use every other week one millimeter shouldn't be used more often than once a month for acne scars or if you're very 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 advanced you can use every three weeks just saying very advanced and now i do diagonal i'm just doing five times i'm gonna be doing again like in a few days Yes, everyone, please like this video. Give me a thumbs up. If you're not following, uh, please follow. I have a lot of microneedling skincare videos. Um, is that 0 0.5? Marianne, uh, this is uh, 0 0.25. Okay, let's get into... Can you talk a little about aftercare serums for hyperpigmentation? Can retinol bring apply... Um, only vitamin C. Ari, I'm looking at it forehead and under lip. Thank you. Okay, aftercare serums uh, should be applied actually before what I'm doing right now. Um, before I was talking about aftercare serums, but right now actually we can use these serums before. Of course, you can do after as well, but it doesn't matter before or after. So my favorite, that's what I just show you guys, hyaluronic and um, peptide for the hyperpigmentation, I will use vitamin C. Vitamin C is the best for hyperpigmentation. Make sure that your serum does not have any fragrance, parabens, drying alcohols, any kind of chemical, synthetic uh, stuff, uh, silicones, you know, phthalates. This is very, very important. And then, um, or hyperpigmentation, retinol, retinol, if you're using Dermarola, it's okay, maybe next day, but not the same day, I will never recommend to use Dermarola the same session, it's just um, also make sure when you are, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you know, not using retinol, uh, never, ever, ever, pregnant woman can use microneedle tool, by the way, so for hyperpigmentation, vitamin C together with Dermarola, next day, retinol is okay, uh, you can try LED masks, Make sure you're avoiding um, sun. Either you wear sunscreen or you're actually uh, wearing some hat, you know, mask or some sun protection shield. <sighs> Jeffrey, thank you. Yes, I do mix high looky, looky, looky duck. Yes, I do mix. You can actually mix and match all serums. Hyaluronic, peptide, vitamin C booster. You can actually mix them together. It's like vitamin C cocktail for your skin. So I'm going to go right now to another cheek and I'm going to show you how I do. Where is my hyaluronic? Oh, okay. We're here. So this is what I'm going to do on another cheek right now. So I'm taking hyaluronic, two pumps on the left cheek. Maybe for you guys, I don't know. It shows that the right cheek, but this is my left cheek. First you start on the right cheek and then on the left cheek. And then I'm um, this is finishing already and then I'm applying. So what I did, I'm mixing those two serums, hyaluronic and peptide and applying on this cheek. Oh my God, I love microneedling. It's just my skin next day when I'm using Dermarola is just beautiful. And yes, you can actually use Dermarola after serum. So look at this, let's do the face over here, this under eye zone. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Later on, I'm going to show you for the brow lift, but 
I'm gonna do a few more times like this. Yes, Rose, can we use under eye cream after the session? Yes, absolutely. Show us how to derma roller can plump your lips. I know I have seen you do a video on that. Yes, I will I will show you on the lips when I'm gonna be done with the face, okay? One, two, three, four, five. 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 And then I'm rolling the rest of the face. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I came live. So what serum do you put when you microneedle a roller? Peptide. What I just put right now, I put peptide together with hyaluronic. Hyaluronic plumbs the skin and pep peptide firms the skin. Today I'm using these two serums and make sure that you have natural, after microneedling, this guy actually is talking in that book, how important to use safe and natural products because all these chemicals, all the fragrance and regular serums are actually, if you microneedle are being like kind of injected in the skin, right? And when you do this like all the time, these chemicals go into your bloodstream, that's not really healthy. So, yeah. And uh, how I do right now, if you want, like this is another thing, you can roll five times over one spot or how you want, you can actually do like this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Every single time you roll, make sure you lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift. Roll, lift. Okay. Do we need to apply something before dermal rolling or we can just wash our face and start dermal rolling on dry face? Yes, you can do dry dermal rolling is, co is, is cold when you actually don't use anything on your face. You can wash your face, make sure it's squeaky clean, dermal roll, and you actually don't want to do anything. It's called dry dermal rolling, dry microneedling. Or you can use serums before or if you want, you can use serum after. It doesn't really matter, but you can do actually both ways but you know, to answer your question you don't have to use anything you can just do dry micro needling without anything it's totally fine you're still gonna get amazing results good question aksha thank you okay my favorite videos i used peptide last time i used 0 0.5 i learned from your other video that say to use serums first yes so right now i'm doing diagonal you see the skin is a little bit red, which is totally fine. You don't want to bleed, especially with 0 0.25 or 0 0.5, you don't bleed. No way that you will bleed if you're going to be using real needle dermarole. By the way, somebody knows the difference of real and fake dermarole? I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I want to see who's following me, who's not. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Please subscribe because I have awesome videos about microneedling. And then I'm going to do, okay, so I did this, now this way. Diagonal. Do you guys do dermal rolling with me? What else? I also like your vitamin C if it's squalene after. Thank you, Leslie. I love it too. I don't have it with me right now. Because I have a rheumatoid, I get cold sores on my lips. If I dermal roll my lips, will it help or cause a cold sore? Uh, I would recommend to use if you have a cold sores. Make sure you wait until you're not going to have and then dermal roll your lips. Um, because you can spread actual bacteria. You might going to have even more. That happened one of my clients. She said she did it and she got even more, you know. So any kind of sore you have. Any kind of open wound, inflamed skin, uh, acne, anything. You don't want to use the marauder. So I have been using Timeless Serums products. Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to apply on my chin a little bit extra. Over here like this. On well, the chin is very important to lift over here those. Here, those bad guys over here. I don't like it. So, and then I'm gonna do 
Bam 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 and then this way bam 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 happy belated birthday thank you Manfred thank you so much yes two weeks ago was my birthday real rose wish your channel hit one million subscribers very soon you really deserve that and more thank you so much rose i appreciate it okay i smashed pen a timeless micro needle i think it was fake the picture on the box showed needles i was pretty mad at bought and have to throw out i know many brands they say they have a real derma rollers i actually the, was the first that actually did this and i actually even trademarked real individual needles nobody can use it so some companies they still try to steal the name from me. They still say, try to say, "Oh, I have real needle dermarolis." You know, I have a lawyer that he has to reach out sometimes to some companies, like, "Hey, you can't use that. We own the trademark." You know, so yeah, I know Amazon. I believe on Amazon, I I, I got only few. This is from Amazon. I, I bought actually very similar. If you have not seen my video where I split apart the Marolas, actually one of them I bought on uh, Amazon. Looks identical, looks like this, but it's fake. It wasn't real. So, yeah. Yeah, I know, it's very important, very important. I'm happy you guys know the difference of real um, and fake. Happy, happy belated birthday, Jen. Thank you so much, guys. You're so amazing. This this community is so beautiful. We are like a cute family. We are like micro needling fans right now. I'm just curious if someone is doing with me micro needling together. So. Again, hyaluronic, two pumps. I'm going to be doing right now my forehead and peptide, one pump. So, and how I'm going to start, actually, I'm going to start with the brow lift. I think brow lift is very important to all of us, right? Who doesn't want to have, like, open eyes, you know, better, wider look? So... And then I'm taking roller. So how I do, I don't roll like this because that's not really healthy. So I do a little bit, one, two, three, four, five. 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 By the way, where you have a brow, if you have a brow thinning, you can use a roller to grow a little bit to your brows, like bushier. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. My cheeks are a little bit on fire, which is totally okay. <sighs> hello, hello, hello. Hi, Katrina. How are you, love? Are you guys there rolling with me? I'm just very curious. Let me know if you are watching after, if you're there rolling together with me anyways. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm so happy to see you guys, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. A very popular shopping website is full of fake ones. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so this is how we do the brow lift. And I will do the same one on this one. Water, stem cell growth factor, conditioner, media glycerin, hydrate, magnesium, ascorbyl, phosphate, pentanol, propanol. Yes, good ingredients, Shannon. Go ahead and use it. What brand is that? I use Skin Medica. I like it as well. Is this from Skin Medica? Skin, skin, skin Medica or Skin Suiticals? I don't remember. Skin Medica, I think. Okay. It's kind of weird with left hand. I'm right handed. Okay. I can do extra love with these hands. It's not comfortable. Okay. And the forehead, I'm basically going to go like bam, bam bum bum you can actually do like like small you know stripes like this it doesn't matter you guys get your own technique you don't have to always follow like my exact technique but the one thing that you should always do is lift definitely doesn't matter what technique you're using you should always lift so maybe it's like this easier for you or maybe just like you know one side Oh, on forehead, I really feel it. Forehead doesn't have like much fat, so you're always gonna feel on the forehead more than um. Ooh, my face is red, girl. Will you see like right away? It's so much smoother. Do you see? Let me know. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do before I go to the lips, I still wanna do a little bit on the neck. We still have time. I think this live can be up to, up to one hour. So I wanna do my neck. I'm gonna wash my neck. And I'm gonna do neck because you don't wanna have a nice face and then wrinkly neck, right? And let me know if you're using anti-aging pillow. I do have a um, code from this company. Oh my God, what's the name? I forgot, but I do use the anti-aging pillow and I like so much. Their anti-aging pillow is so good. And I see improvement because before I used to sleep like this or on the side and that pillow has like a hole inside and the holes on the side. So even if you sleep on the side, your cheek kind of falls in that hole and it doesn't smush. I don't want to touch my face right now. But basically anti-aging pillow is very, very good for the neck care. Kind of pricey, but I think it really works. Okay, so it makes me want to take my derbarola out, but I can't have a day tonight. Uh, thank you. I got my order this week. Zero point five. Did my macronili session Wednesday. Ooh, have fun on the date. And thank you, Shine and Bright. Tonight I will watch again and need needle with you. I'm at work and sneaking in with you, with you, <laughs> Leslie. You're funny. Okay, so I'm gonna use again peptide and hyaluronic these as today are my favorite serums and um just gonna go quickly you see the difference where I dermarol is red and where i didn't dermarol is white so i'm gonna go quickly with the dermarol starting on the uh right side yes so i'm going one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. I kind of skipped thyroid. I don't want to do anything there. It's nothing going to happen, but still better to avoid it, I think. Just to be careful, you know? Better be safe than sorry. And then I just can go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. For the neck, I think you shouldn't use bigger size at 0 0.5. The skin is very, very thin, and I feel much more than on the face. Uh, Brightsuticals, okay. You're welcome, Shannon. Not the rolling right now, but as soon as your day is over, I am on it. Wendy, okay. Okay, sorry. Red means blood is rushing into that area, which is good. Yes, Manfred, exactly. Yes, red is good. It's working uh, because I'm not on my phone. Uh, a lot i'm getting lines on my neck yeah and also another tip when you guys are on the phone let's say on the phone right when you're on the phone we are all on the phone like this right we're like oh who is texting me trying to do this with your phone i know it's kind of especially when you're in public place you kind of look like a grandma you know grandma all this they can't see they're like ah oh, what is there so try to look you know in the front of you not here because when you here look at this it forms lines like right away this is falling everywhere is falling we don't want to do this actually like, this is the best way just one little tip in case you didn't know i'm pretty sure you're smart you knew this so the neck over here a little bit not going crazy just basically showing neck you can do a little bit longer if you want and then those lines where i have i'm kind of trying to see i go like follow those lines like this horizontally it's not very comfortable to use a roller especially probably if you're like over 80 50 years old uh, how you call it in english those oh my god i don't know how to say but they're like more visible and it's harder to their morale so i'm just going like this if it's not comfortable for you to do vertical lines um my ladies you can always do this like more times yeah okay so i think i'm gonna be done with a neck soon a little bit extra love on the jawline over here to enhance that kind of sharpness when we firming these kind of spots over here we're going to have more visible jawline which we all want because it makes us look a little bit younger right 
over here. You can do a little bit on the cheek, above, and you can do below. Don't be afraid to apply a little bit more pressure over here. On this cheeks, on this area of the cheek, we have uh, much more fat than on the rest of the face. So you can really actually apply the pressure. Don't be afraid. Nothing is going to happen. Your jaw is not going to pop, you know. So and especially these lines, like over here is bothering me so much. We all have different, you know, um, places in the face that we want to address. Some people have a lot of like 11 lines. I never do any fillers. I never, never do a roll. I never like squint. I never do too much. I don't have issue with 11 lines, but I always have issue over here. You see, guys? So now I'm going to do on this one. Oh, he's so good. Kind of feel a satisfaction when I derma roll. I'm the only one crazy that I feel kind of like, I don't know. It's like when I derma roll my face, I'm like, wow, it feels so good because I know I'm going to get amazing results. I know next day my face is going to be so tight and I'm going to feel so much better. I'm going to be more confident. I'm going to have more smile in my face. Okay, where is more wrinkle? There. I'm going to do this line over here a little bit more extra love and really really pushing there i'm like pushing 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 even though it looks like i derma roll back and forth but no i do up lift up lift 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 you see over there okay now is the lip time let's go to the lips i'm gonna try to remove i had the lip balm before just to make sure. Who their marrow lips? Let me know. I want to see who their marrow lips. Have you tried their marrow lips? Uh, it's kind of weird because I'm still going to be. I have another serum that is my going to work. This is from, it's kind of pricey. This is from Phyto C um, olive gel. This is a little bit more kind of like oilier, jellier. So maybe that's going to be okay for my lips before. But I'm still going to be eating dinner, so. Okay, I'm just showing you guys. So apply before. Mm. Okay. And then make a kissy face. Okay. Man, this can help you too. Not just for women. Just described. I thought I had already. Jeffrey, yes, absolutely. I actually have 20% of my clients are men. The dermal beard, the dermal hair, the dermal the face, because men want to look younger as well. As well, of course, not only for women. I'm, I'm so sorry. I apologize, Jeffrey. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, my neck is hard too because I'm older and it's not plump anymore. Very creepy lines. I go up and down like you. The sideways just one. Yeah, this is what I meant. Can do diagonal and not safe on my thin skin. Yes, absolutely, Leslie. And if you have a gloves or if you don't have a gloves, you disinfect your, your, your hands. Like you can actually just pull a little bit your skin, you know, and dermarol in between the line. If you have a sickness, you can, you know, work around. I'm pretty sure you are smart and you can do it. Uh, I have done lips a few times after seeing one of your videos. Did you like it, Lindsay? Did you like to do lips? I love the li I tried. I love doing my lips and hairline. Lucky duck, yes. Uh, I tried. You guys are amazing. Just started my hairline. Leslie, how is it going with your hairline? Okay, so this is how I do. You don't want to have open lips because when you open lips, you can dermarole your teeth. And I have done this. You don't want to damage your teeth enamel because that's not healthy. So what do you do? Hmm? my lips don't like it i don't know why oh my god shoot holy shit my lips are so sensitive today i started my period today so my whole skin is like everything is so sensitive mm. Mm. What is the other body part that we can derma roll? 
it's easier to tell you what not to derma roll. Don't derma roll butthole, your vagina, your penis, your butthole, I always say your tongue, your lids. I know it's crazy, but I have asked so many times, many people ask if I can derma roll butthole, if I can derma roll my vagina, if I can derma roll this and this and this. You can derma roll everything, just your, not your, you know, genitals. Please, please, this happens. People ask me. I have gotten in the past a picture of them down there and person asked, hey, can I derma roll it? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> How long you see results? Depends. Let's have fun, Estrella. Um, depends. Some people can see results immediately right after. Some people need three, four, even six months. So it depends. Depends what is what is what you want to achieve. Depends what size are you using. Depends what are you using together with, like serums, creams. Uh, depends how you're taking care. If you're dermarolling and everything, but then you go to the sun all the time, you lay down on the beach, that's kind of like wasting time and money. So it depends really how consistent you are, how often you do it, what size do you use, what kind of dermaroll, what kind of products you're using. But I will say on average, on average, three months, just to be just to be honest. Okay, Lizzie, I actually have very thin lips and I like it. They gave you an instant plumping effect. Yes, it's amazing, right? Lips, we're cheating, right? We're cheating with the lips. Guys can do lips as well. Who doesn't want to have like bigger lips, right, guys? Everybody wants to have. How many times should we roll on the problem areas five in each direction or more? Yes, to start shining bright, you can use five times. If you advance, you can use 10 times. If you're a super master advanced, you can use like 20 times. Don't derma roll butthole. I know, right? Who derma rolls butthole? <laughs> I know. That sounds painful. <laughs> I don't know why people want to do this. I only do my hairline the way I have seen you do it. I've used your 0.5 just to see how it felt. Next, I'll use yeah, 0 0.75. Yes. I, if you go to my Instagram, if you're not following, go, go to my Instagram. I had a guy. Maybe I'm, I'm not going to find him right now. But this is my Instagram. And I had a guy that he was using our derma roller and amazing result happened to him. Let me let me find. I'm gonna keep derma rolling and looking. Mm. Mm, where is he? Where is he? There's there was another girl before and after. Look at this. Amazing results for the hair. Mm. Over here, this guy found it. Check this out. My client. Before and after. It's amazing. But he did this for a year every single day. With my dermarole, he was using minoxidil, minoxidil as well. Check this out. Before and after. Have you seen this crazy difference? This is what dermarole and consistency can do it. Okay, the lips are very sensitive. I did try it and definitely have to go with less pressure, yes. In advance, uh, an advice for rolling the bust. I mean, you derma roll like, like you will derma roll your you know, face. Just be careful. Don't, don't press too much and start with the smaller size. This is 0 0.25, you can start and see. I bet he's so happy. <laughs> yeah, he is. So I think I've been using way too much. Okay, what do you have? How often? So I already told you how often to use it and care after. So care after. Sorry, it's kind of hard to talk right now. Mm. Holy cow, okay, I'll get and be consistent. Yes, Leslie. I'm going to be doing, guys, this live video so you can actually be with me. Let's be like a team. Let's be like kind of supporting one another. Let's be this community where we actually can come together and they're all together. I might going to be doing one time, like sort of like a Zoom call, going to send you links, and we can actually derma roll all together. That would be so much fun. Like, I want you guys to have fun, not only results, you know? 
So the care after is, is actually very simple. You don't want to go to the sun as long as you can, like at least 72 hours after microneedling. If you have to go walk your dog, make sure you have a hat, make sure you have a sun shield, you apply SPF or you have a COVID mask or whatever the heck you want to do, but make sure you protect your face. Don't go to the beach next day because that's not what you want to do. Don't dermarole if you have to go to the beach next day. If you're going on vacation next next week, for example, some, somewhere to and Caicos, Mexico, don't dermarole a week before that trip at least. So no sun, no gym for 24 hours. You can go to the gym, but gym actually, when you sweat, it makes your skin really, really itchy. It's nothing going to happen. It's not going to damage, but you're going to feel so itchy that you want to scratch and maybe by accident you're going to scratch and you don't want that. Then avoid um, at all costs any kind of uh, harsh scrubbing, exfoliating, acids, glycolic, salicylic acid, mandelic acid, lactic acid, any kind of acids you're using wait for two three days at least because that's not too when it's too much crap on your face you don't want to do this just be gentle with your face take a little bit longer you know for, to heal it and everything so for the next three days i have to be very 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 careful then what you use after you can use serums before microneedling or after i'm also right now i'm gonna spray rose water i really love it uh, i'm in heaven <laughs> oh by the way if you're watching today we have father's day sale with the code father's day i believe you can get 20 percent off we don't tell this to anybody we just secretly tell this to vp client to you guys right now don't go now finish watching this 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 show happening here then go use go go to the website genumber.com and then you can enter father's day let me check the code because sometimes i don't remember shit um father's day i believe i can go and see how many orders we have today okay so uh i'm gonna tell you exactly what code do we have i am so cool right i never i never do this on the live he didn't use it why he didn't use the code um who where is it Okay, what's the code? Where I can find the code? Yes, Father's Day. This is the person was using Father's Day. You see, Father's Day, I'm gonna give you 20% off. So what I'm gonna be using right now after, do I have it? Oh, I have it here. Um, what else after care is important? Can you remind me guys what, what else after care is important? Maybe I'm forgetting something because I know you're very, very smart. Let me know. Remind me. Remind me if I'm forgetting something, something after here. So I'm going to be using also soothing and smoothing sheet mask. This is amazing superfood mask because it has beautiful vitamins and ingredients. When you apply something after when your channels are already open, it penetrates all those beautiful ingredients. So who is taking vitamins here internally, right? is good for for our uh, organs for our health but who is taking vitamins after we finish microneedling i do this is a lot of vitamins in the sheet mask check this out now i'm gonna go scare neighbors imagine guys if i take live right now this computer and i will go scare my neighbors hello hello <laughs> okay so okay Oh, I have a lot of questions. How many times could I use Wonder Marola before we throw it out? I ordered three from you and got them this week. So happy this with the quality. Thank you. Uh, Shine and Bright, you can use um, Wonder Marola up to 10 times. I will highly recommend to not use more often because needles are getting duller. And um, show you the book again that this guy that i just mentioned in the beginning of this video he also talks about that it's not actually healthy to use microneedle tool for many 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 uses because needles are getting duller and we're not only getting any results we we causing trauma to the skin we kind of can't see with the eyes uh, how bent and dull the needle is but i will highly recommend to get you this book and read this book he explains how actually when the needle is dull 
and I think he had some more picture. I don't remember. It's, it's, it's a book, but he talks about that, that we don't want to use tool too many times because when needle is dull, imagine like it's getting duller and like this goes to the skin. It's like causing trauma to the skin, it can scar it. So no more than 10 times. Okay. Did they answer your question? Let me know. Okay. Seems good. I have me. That was pleasure and needling your point tonight and use your fabulous mask. Yes, I love it. I have mask. I forgot to use my first purchase discount code, but I bought yours off Amazon, so no big deal. Uh, Manfred Fields and Amazon. We don't sell on Amazon. Maybe you mean that you, you are using Amazon Pay, right? Okay. I can't tell if you go back and forth with the Dermarola touching the skin or do you lift the Dermarola when you go back? I always lift. So like this, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift, roll, lift. That's the right way to do. I bought off your website and Amazon. Okay, you bought my Dermarola on my website and, and something else on Amazon. We do not sell on Amazon currently. Maybe we will. I can't wait until you write your book. Yes, Shannon, I am going to start writing my book probably. Uh, I think next year I have to finish with the course. Probably course is going to be launched. Actually, in a month, we have a due date, July 20. My course actually is being in production. I have a guy that is helping me with the course. It's called Confident Skin. I'm talking about skincare, uh, microneedling. I'm talking about the health. I'm talking about nutrition, mindset, energy, on overall how we can feel confident and how we can have a confident skin, which is going to be healthy skin, you know? So, okay, I will be promoting your channel to my Arab friends. I have already promoted the Marolis itself in Arabic. Oh, thank you, Rose, so much. I truly appreciate, guys, if you're promoting, if you're telling your friends about me. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Um, 0 0.25, yes, you can use every day if you are advanced. Usually, I will say it starts once every two, three days. Yeah, I found one on Amazon. That's how I found out about you. Mantra, we do not sell on Amazon. We do not sell on Amazon. Not yet. Um, I used the stamp last night and the mask after so suiting. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to keep this mask until it's going to dry, <laughs> and it's, until it's going to get into my skin completely dry. It takes a while, actually, to dry. So um, I think I explained everything. We went through everything. I highly, highly, again, recommend to get this book. It's 25 bucks, guys. Don't save one time, maybe skip the Marauder and get this book. This book is amazing. The only one thing when I'm going to write my book, when I will improve and I have improved a lot of things to tell than him, but he's pretty smart as well. Or if you want to wait for my book, wait for my book. My book, my book is not going to come out until next year. He does not tell about real and fake dermatologists because he probably doesn't know. A lot of dermatologists, a lot of estheticians, they don't know. Like I'm a esthetician myself. I did not know about real and fake dermatologists until I actually took a hammer, took a knife and split open and saw with my eyes. I'm like, what the heck is this? What the heck is this? Why nobody knows? Why people don't know, right? So, um, yeah, everything else, this book is really, really great for those. But if you're watching my channel, if you're following me, if you watch, like, every single Dermarola video, you don't need this book. You already know everything, and I'm pretty sure that you know everything. How soon after microneedling can I use red and near infrared light therapy? Light therapy, you can use right away. You can use right away. I can actually go right now and use red light therapy right now. Either roll on my face Friday night, Saturday, use aloe vera. Is that okay? Yes, you can use aloe vera plant if you have your own aloe vera plant right away. Yeah, okay. I'll look into it because they say it's a gin ambers and it's the same as your website roller. No, 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 honey. We do not sell. Um, if you find that, can you please send it to me? Because this is um, not okay. Somebody's doing that illegal. I think that's not... Um, that's not mine. We do not sell on Amazon. Okay, thank you so, so much, my Amber Babies. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. And sending you beautiful healing energy to your face and to your family. And happy Father's Day to all the dads and the moms who are like dads, you know. So I love you guys so much. 
if you um, will give me a favor, if you will follow me on Instagram right now, I will truly, truly appreciate it. Um, damn it. I can't make it. My phone does not recognize my face, so I can't make it open. If you give me a favor, please, can you follow me on Instagram right now? Just go to number X and follow me on Instagram. I truly, I will appreciate really, really a lot. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you. And uh, I see you in my next video. Fa last few questions. Retin-A, use Retin-A two or three days after microneedling. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Manfred. Um, thank you, Shine and Bright. Um, thank you, Leslie. I love you guys so, so much. I'm giving you all my heart to you. I love you. Bye. Bye.